So the Galaxy S22 Ultra is here and it brings an S Pen, a Note inspired design, but it also brings all new cameras that sometimes just blew me away with the quality of the images, but also a few times it felt like Samsung was way too aggressive with the processing. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Hello guys, my name is Vic with Phone Arena and the cameras on this new Galaxy S22 Ultra on paper have almost the same specs as the S21 Ultra. So main camera with the same 108 megapixel sensor, identical ultra wide camera and also very very similar dual zoom cameras. One at 3 times zoom and a periscope at 10 times zoom lens. And yes, let's get this out of the way. You can still zoom up to crazy 100 times and you can still take pictures of the moon with surprising clarity. But let's start the story with the front camera, shall we? So you get similar detail during the day, but if you look at the edges, you would notice them wobbling on the S21 Ultra while they're almost perfectly steady on the new Ultra, which is a subtle but very much appreciated improvement. Also, if you just pause the video and you can clearly see how the S22 Ultra goes for these warmer colors. The S21 Ultra is actually a bit more accurate here. My jacket in reality is indeed completely black. And also let's take a look at a few selfies. Now you can choose between a wider view for a group of friends or a close-up view if it's just you and the selfie. And you can notice a similar thing with warmer colors again on the S22 Ultra. Samsung is traditionally great at selfies, it has absolutely incredible processing with beautiful colors and plenty of detail, plus the skin tone often looks just right on Samsung phones. And you also have excellent dynamic range in the background. Now you can also use portrait mode for selfies to blur the background and that works very accurately as well on both phones. And finally, here are a few selfies I shot at night. Samsung has a new night solution multi-frame capture that automatically kicks in when it gets very dark. The gist of it is it brings far better image quality with cleaner detail, don't you think? Okay, enough with the selfies, let's get to the main course. So Samsung has been using the same 108 megapixel sensor since the S20 Ultra, so some people may be upset about that, but the reality is that it's the software and the processing these days that counts in the camera game, and this year you can see some very noticeable changes. So in the first picture here, you can already easily tell the S22 Ultra by just its wider perspective, 23mm versus 24 on the older Ultra. But the other thing that's changed is again the colors. They look colder on the S21 Ultra, while the S22 has these warmer tones that work better on this shot. In the second photo, you again get warmer colors and darker blues in the skies, but take a closer look at the three branches. They have this strange glow on the S22 Ultra, which you don't get on the S21. And the reason for that is just excessive over sharpening. And this is our one complaint. We actually prefer the more balanced sharpening on the S21 Ultra. This new thing looks kind of fake. On the third shot, you can notice quite a bit of sun flare on the S21 Ultra, while the new clear lens solution on the S22 Ultra definitely helps get rid of that, which is a very nice improvement. And on the next photo, you see the warmer colors, but if you look closer, like I do here on my 13 inch laptop, you can see how detail at the edges of the picture, like the balcony on the left, appears blurred and almost out of focus on the S22 Ultra, while the same thing appears nicely focused on the S21 Ultra. And the next photo of the road, you get a brighter exposure and warmer colors out of the S21 Ultra. And this photo might actually be more true to life, but that S22 Ultra image has that pop. Still, now it's hard to say which one is better. Just notice that far away, that building at the center of the frame, it looks blown out on the newer phone. And that's one thing that's happening oftentimes with these photos. And sometimes the S22 Ultra just goes a little crazy with exposure and on this photo with Copernicus holding a gyroscope, the S21 Ultra has done a much better job with a proper exposure. So if we had to sum it all up, during the day you often can get a nicer, warmer look out of the S22 Ultra, but the camera definitely has a few kinks too and sometimes the older Ultra actually tends to look better, so it's a bit of a hit or miss here. But this all seems to change at night, where the newer Ultra just consistently delivers excellent shots. Look at these pictures and you'd notice something common. 
S21 Ultra photos all have a kind of a light pollution that almost invisibly layers on top of photos in the form of flare or color pollution. And with the S22, Samsung has managed to get rid of all of that in one fell swoop. Night shots from the new Ultra look impressively clean, detail is plentiful, lens flare is incredibly well controlled, and yes, colors are still warmer, and sure, this sometimes results in exaggerated colors with whites looking a bit too orange, but it's just how clean these shots are that impresses. And Samsung actually explains that this is thanks to a new coating on the glass of the lens so light reaches the sensor with fewer reflections and it seems to work. We also love how the skies are now rendered a darker shade of blue at night compared to the Galaxy S21 Ultra, which gives S22 Ultra night images a more authentic feel. But next up switching to the ultra wide camera, let's see something's changed here. Now you get a similar field of view on both phones, but notice in this picture of the building how we get this weird HDR halo effect over the trees that looks a bit fake, while we get a much more natural photo out of the S21 Ultra. That is the over sharpening, one of the kinks that we mentioned earlier about the new Ultra. And in other cases, like the photo of the road, the more vibrant look of the S22 Ultra looks a bit better and has more pop. So take a look at a few other ultra-wide photos from both phones, it's hard to pick a favorite during the day, but come night and guys, my mind was blown away by the S22 Ultra. First, simply because it actually uses night mode with the ultra-wide camera now, which brings a world of a difference. You get a ton more light and color out of ultra-wide photos at night, images from the older ultra appear washed out in comparison, lacking in clarity, while the S22 gets very sharp detail and beautiful colors. But what about that zoom quality next? This is the signature feature of the Galaxy Ultra phones recently, isn't it? So we were impressed with the previous Galaxy S21 Ultra with its zoom capabilities, it was steadier and smoother, but this new edition brings an even cleaner detail and more vibrant and lively colors. In fact, photos from the S21 Ultra look pale and bleak in comparison with the newer S22 Ultra, and that's quite something. So during the day, zoomed photos are definitely cleaner and the camera just feels better stabilized in the app. Take a look at a few street signs, whites were commonly blown out on the S21 Ultra and now you get a much improved dynamic range, sharper detail and more pleasing colors on the newer phone. And just look at that electric scooter, again highlights are blown out on the previous Ultra while the new Ultra has it captured perfectly. And we even managed to use the 10 times zoom camera at night in very scarce light on a few occasions with the S22 Ultra, but not on the S21, which in the same scenario just used a crop of the 3 times zoom camera instead. And the processing is also interesting. The new Ultra aggressively cleans up noise as you can see in this photo, while the S21 has a lot more noise, but of course in such dark conditions, a 10x zoom photo will always lack proper detail. At 3 times zoom there is a bit of a difference in color processing, again with a consistently warmer look from the newer S22 Ultra, and yes, the S22 can definitely go overboard as in this picture of the house, but luckily that's not too common. It also is able to eliminate the so-called moiré effect like you can see on the waves here, which is very apparent on the S21 Ultra. Alright, so this is the main camera on the S22 Ultra and the S21 Ultra and having that wider field of view on the newer phones just gave me this idea that you can use the main camera to vlog and here especially in tight spaces like right now I'm in my car you can see that it gives you this wider perspective which is really appreciated but you let me know if you can see a difference in the quality and those warmer colors how do they look on the S22 Ultra compared to the S21 Ultra and which one do you like better so now we're recording with the ultra wide cameras on both phones and do let me know if you see any differences in the quality between the S22 Ultra and S21 Ultra Right now we're recording at 3 times zoom in both phones to check out the quality and see if there are any differences in the zoom camera. So this is what the quality looks like on the S22 Ultra and the S21 Ultra. Alright, so right now we're at 10 times zoom, so let me know if there's a difference in the quality. Most importantly, the video stabilization, because it's such great zoom, you get a bit of jitter, and the S22 Ultra is supposed to get more stable zoom. So, wow, at night the main camera on the S22 Ultra is also so much cleaner. There's virtually no noise, it looks just 
better. You'll notice that the exposure is a bit darker compared to the previous Ultra, which attempts to lift up the shadows at night and give you a brighter picture, but that just results in a lot of noise. So once again, we have nighttime video recording with the S22 Ultra against the S21 Ultra. And particularly here with that flare in the lights, you can clearly see that this new lens on the S22 Ultra really does make a difference. Let's switch to the ultra wide camera real quick. Ultra wide camera on both phones. Switching back to the main cameras. Let's walk a bit. Get a sense of the video stabilization. It does look cleaner on the S22 Ultra, definitely. So try and punch in, zoom in three times. Zooming in three times right now. It's very jittery on the S21 Ultra. It's super steady actually. Impressively steady on the S22 Ultra. Ten times zoom. See Mr. Cat. He's entered the building. Walking with 10 times zoom again, super shaky with the S21 Ultra and buttery smooth. That's just crazy smooth with the S22 Ultra. Wow, what a difference! Switching back 3x, three times zoom. Just walk a bit. Nice job on the video stabilization. Switching back to the main cameras now. All right, let's walk back. What do you guys think about this kind of video quality that you get with the S22 Ultra? Impressed? Interestingly, front camera video at night is a bit hit or miss on the new Ultra. In very dark conditions, it looks overprocessed and washed out. Anyway, we've looked at many photos and videos, so time to kind of wrap this up. Is the S22 Ultra the perfect camera? Of course, the answer is no, but it's a strange camera that we love and it can absolutely blow you away with some shots, especially at night where Samsung has stepped up big time and also with a 10 times zoom camera, which has improved. Plus it can finally often stand neck to neck with those iPhones in video quality. But in some rather simple shots during the day, it kind of underperforms with bleaker colors and often an artificial over sharpened detail. Of course, nothing is perfect and we do hope some of the issues that we mentioned can be fixed in software and Samsung has proven it can do that with last year's S21 Ultra, which received a few big camera updates. And also check out the description box to this video for some sweet deals if you're looking to get the new S22 Ultra. So my name is Vic here. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like this video, subs if you want to see more from us, and I'll catch you guys around in the next one.